Okie dokie. I think I remembered how to get online. <laughs> oh, mercy. Hello, YouTube, from my two month or more sabbatical. But I'm back. I'm going to wait for my chatters to gather. So if you're watching the recording, you might want to scoot ahead a little bit. There's Joan. Hey, Joan. I made it. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to do. No idea. <laughs> it's good to be seen. I am. Um, I know what I should be doing, and I totally forgot about it, but maybe the next time I'll get it in there. I haven't touched anything for so long, other than these two things that I came down here one day and thought, oh, let me try to play. And um, this one wasn't going too bad. Pile of rocks, basically. And I threw some gold on it until I was shaking the pen to get some blobs. And the whole nib flew out. And I got a big splotch on it. <laughs> hey, Tara, Linda, Tori. Hi, guys. The rumors of my demise have been greatly exaggerated. Jackie! Oh, my good goodness. It's so good to see you in chat. It's so good to be here chatting. <laughs> this has been over two months, I guess. Um, but I've been so out of the loop with everything. Um, I mean, I bet I've spent maybe an hour, all my five, ten minute segments put together in the last two months. This is what I produced. <laughs> oh, hey, Candy. But we'll do something, even if it's wrong. Um, this is interesting stuff. I saw a couple people had this and thought I'd try it because I like a nice black, black, black watercolor. And all this is, this is not watercolor. This is a Schmincke coal. It's a liquid charcoal, but it comes out looking like a tube watercolor. The one I got is grapeseed black. I think there's four colors and it comes out black, blackity black, black, um, which I love. And this one, I just tried to make it Shades lighter as I went up the stack of rocks. It's all right, but I have a couple mistakes there that bled and one that bled there. So I'll just practice. But um, I put some in a pan. I know there were some of the channels said they were going to do this, and I, I did. I don't. I'm assuming they did. I don't know if they did or not. But they put some in a pan to see if it would rewet. And I'm going to try that to see how it came out because that's. Very dry in that pan now. Vicki, hi. <coughs> oh, excuse me. As I start to strangle. This brush will be as good as any, I suppose. <coughs> so I'm going to take a little bit and just put a little bit on this piece of watercolor paper right out of the tube. It's a big tube, too. It's 35 millimeters. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Kat. Ellen. Margaret. Good to see everybody. So here is, let me wet this. Where's my little squirter? Hello. There we go. I had to prime it. I'm going to let some water sit in there for a minute. Now let's just see what happens here. Hey, Terry. All right, I'm going to use this little brush here. I think I'm going to have to scrub that for some reason. It looks kind of hard. Oh, and another thing I wanted to mention about that stuff. You know, when you rub your hand over regular watercolor, it's kind of smooth. I mean, it feels a little bit dry, but this, I don't know, I don't know if you can hear the difference. It sounds like salt, sound, feels like sandpaper. Um, here, this one, you can really see the difference. It's got a rough, a rough, uh, gritty 
kind of a texture to it, which I'm not thrilled about. But hey, Kay, it is what it is. All right, let's see what this one looks like. This is out of the out of the tube. That comes out pretty black. But this, I'm curious to see. And I'm really giving this a good zhuzh in here to give it a fair shot. Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Mass tone isn't quite as dark. Of course, I might have had it wetter. They're pretty dark. Let's see, the one is, is darker. But that's a good, real dark black if you want a dark black and don't like to mix colors. I'm not a big mixer. Don't like to mix colors so much. So what am I going to do? It's like I'm sitting down here for the first time ever. Not just a recent time. I mean ever. Let's see. Should I do a collage? Is there anything in here? Oh, okay. All right, there's two in there. How much time do I have? 1.30. This is watercolor paper. I'm talking to myself now. I'm sure it is. I can tell by the feel of it and the weight of it. I think I might just do a watercolor background and maybe collage a couple things on top of it. How about that? How about them apples? Let me wet this baby down. Get that out of harm's way. Hey, Jerry. Thank you. It's good to be back. that in there and I guess I'll use this brush but I'm going to put some water on my page a little bit hey Tam thank you I'm just putting some kind of big droplets down there to have something to play with. I just noticed my glasses. I can't see the chat. I don't know. I might have to get my computer glasses for the next time because it's hard for me to see the chat. You guys are a little blurry. <laughs> for a patty experiment. Everything I do is an experiment. Because <laughs> I never, ever really know what's going to happen. Let me get this little mixing tray out of the way so I can get to whatever's underneath it there if I want it. Maybe I should keep this over here a little bit. There we go. That's probably better. All right, let's do, that's lunar blue. This is lunar blue. Let me get more of this. And let's just do some blobs. around the water droplets. No rhyme or reason. Which is pretty much my MO. I love how that granulates though. Um, I 
lunar black, I believe. I like how this breaks apart too. Let's get some of this dark down here. I have no idea what I'm, there's nothing in my head. <laughs> I know that's a shocker. Hey, Judy. Thank you. Put a little more water over here. I should do what I always see Cece doing. And Cece is one of my favorite artists to watch and to listen to. And I never, she always plans paintings. I never have planned a painting. Perhaps I should start to listen. Hi. This is the leprechaun by, um, I think it's Rachel Betts. This is Cascade Green. One of my favorites. It's so weird to me. I, when I get out of my groove of doing this stuff, Um, when I come back, it's like, I'm, I have no idea what I'm even doing, where to start, why to start. <laughs> oh, mercy. A little black in that blob of water there and see what happens. There's a little bit up there. I could play with that wet spot there. Hey, Dot. I know, Jackie. Isn't she awesome? I just saw what she posted on Instagram that she did this morning. Did you guys see that? So pretty. I show you. Maybe. Uh, where's the... Look at that floral that she did. Kind of like white pods. But look at the cracks in them, the shading, the little highlights in the middle. And then the gold on her vase, vase vase, however you want to say it. I just think that's gorgeous. It's really, really pretty. And she continuously produces this stuff. I'm sure she has an off day. You know, nobody's perfect, but she's pretty dang close in my book. <laughs> oh, let's see. I probably should put something metallic in here, shouldn't I? I mean, it would be a crime not to. I mean, this is metallic and shiny, but I mean something gold. Oh, you know what? Maybe we won't go gold. Oh, I got to make some more of this. God forbid I'm running low on the um, Pacific Lagoon. Is that what this is? Must be. Creamer pigment pigments that we make our own, our own little potions with and put this on the black. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to put some in there. Let's put some every little wet spot. We'll just add a little bit of that. See what happens. Jackie, I bet you'll be glad when you get your things unpacked from your move. I 
I had to blend that in a little bit more. That looked a little weird. Hey, Pat. Welcome. I'm making a mess. You know, stick with what you know, I always say. I'm going to let some of that drip down where it's real wet and see what happens. Actually, that mixed with that. Um, you know what? I'm just going to do a little mix of that. Cascade Green. Maybe I should mix. Let's do that and see what it looks like. Because where that's merging, it looks really cool. What happens if I put this down here? And put some Pacific Lagoon in there. And just mix it up. And see what happens. Looks pretty cool. Where am I going to put you? That's all still wet in there. I think I'll put a little blob there. And there. And then maybe just some little streaky things. I don't know why. If I collage this, most of this is going to get covered up anyway. Thank the Lord. I know. I bet you do. I bet you do. That really is a pretty color there. That's the Cascade Green in the Pacific Lagoon. When that dries, you'll see the shininess in there. And here we got all kind of different, I don't know if you can see the purple. When I turn it, the lagoon breaks down into turquoise, like a green and purple. And we're that showing up purple up there at the very top. You're not going to see see that's just is so frustrating that's not changed since i've been away <laughs> i'm gonna sit this over here on the side and let this dry a minute and i'm gonna pull out like about four thousand old jelly prints <laughs> and see if anything in here grabs me to add in Oh, oh, the foiling days. Remember the foiling? Oh, oh, oh. oh mercy. This is onion skin. It gets all curly cued. Some of Robin's stencils. That's kind of like the colors in there, though, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Let me put this down here right and keep an eye. Oops. Just pulled my plug out. Oh, my. <coughs> That's kind of in that ballpark. I always like this one. That was foiled. That's one of my stencils that I printed. And then, um, hey, Linda. And then foiled, because why not? Why not make it shiny if you can? These are some uh, Robin stencils. Remember where I double printed them? So they kind of had a shadow or a highlight, as it were. This is one of Jones, the round one with... Um, Robins on the top of that. Yeah, let's put that over there. Kind of a mystical 
Thank you, Linda. Hey, Kathy. This got schmutzed around it, but look at the, in the character, how cool that looks with what it picked up through the plate. Hmm. Maybe, oh, this one too. That one's on Deli, but that did the same thing. How cute are you? I think this is when we were doing the launch for Robin stencils, this whole pack of goodies in here. Remember, this wasn't sticking. Well, it's still not. <laughs> oh, this one was so pretty. Of course, it's not going to go with this, but look at some of those. Hello, lover. I dare me to try to duplicate that. <laughs> Although I do know what foil that is. If you look really close, you can see it's that purplish one that has all the little, uh, like, um, fibers in it, I guess. I don't know what I'd ever do with this one, Deli, but I just loved how that printed just the outlines in my pictograph stand. How it printed. Couldn't repeat that if I wanted to. <laughs> Actually, it was probably the leftover of this cleanup. Oh, and more. Oh, here we go. Foils, foils, foils. Jackie, I blame you on the foil thing. I think I can very honestly say that that's all on you. <laughs> oh, mercy. That one's kind of cool. Maybe I'll put you over there. Now, if that would have covered the whole surfboard, see the little tips are plain. It stopped there and it stopped there. But still kind of cool. What are these? That's one of that's that same same stencil, not as obvious there, and that's a bunch of her Robin's stencil prints on one of her um, papers from her printables, which I owe her a project in May, and this was my first time to get online, and I knew I was going to be like my brain not engaging properly, and I want to give it a good a good go. But I'm gonna. I need to print those papers, and the next time I stream, I'll do something with um, Robin's papers and um, for May. Um, but May has oh, it's flown by. Like I can't even. I can't even believe what happened to it. Where did it go? I started back to work on the 10th, and um, we had my brother's birthday was the 10th. My little uh, great niece, Cammie, her birthday was the 13th. Mother's Day was the 9th. Um, and we've been going to um, Owen's in a lacrosse clinic. Age group is four to six. <laughs> they are so cute. Oh, my God. He um, He's the shortest one out there. And he's just so daggone cute to watch. Um, actually, let me show you this. We sit on the sidelines and watch them and cheer them on, although they're not really playing a game. And this just is so cute to me. When he runs off the field, when he's done, I'll show you the first thing he does. He runs over and grabs his sister and hugs her like he missed her for the 45 minutes around on the field. Ah, 
How cute is that? Look at her. Oh, now he's teaching her how to dance. <laughs> I won't bore you with that. That's not what it's about. But that lacrosse clinic thing is so cute to watch those little ones. I'm looking at the background of these. I know what stencil this is in the background. This is Jones, the white on the top. This background one is mine, but look how the paint came out, how it puckered and made it look like it was striped. The stencil's not like that. Isn't that weird? And this is this is just deli paper. They look like little worms. Oh my gosh, they are a mess. You know, these get crammed in my drawer and I forget about them. That might be something to pull out of there. That actually, it looks like it's just a blob, which it kind of is. But when you really look close at what's behind the blobs and see the metallics and all that texture coming through there, you can't hate that, people. You can try, but you cannot. Sure, or that's the one I was trying to make look like Raku, and it kind of does, if you know what Raku is. Don't know how I did that. <laughs> These are old. These reverse ones. And I could probably figure that out again, but if you can see the, the reddish gold background on this and what's in the shapes here, that would be one full pull on the plate, right? And the turquoise that's here and the turquoise in here came out of this. Huh. How the hell I did it? Couldn't tell you off the top of my head. <laughs> well, what, what's bad is I, I lose track as I stay away from it for a while. Same here. But my memory's so bad, even if I'm doing it every day. CB! CB in the house. Hey, Glenda. Welcome, guys. Um, here's another one that was the reverse -y thing. But um, even if I'm doing it every day, my memory is so shot. It's getting scary. I'm telling you. Like, I think something's not right up there. I always tell Dave, it's a good thing you've got a memory because we would be hosed up. Oh, baby, if you didn't remember what I don't remember. That was a patina print. And I think that's one of, um, I think that's a KP stencil. I think. There's another reverse set. Apparently I like that. <laughs> I like this one. This is Joan stencil. And I don't remember what was on the plate before that. I think it might have been a badass stencil, kind of looking at some of these fine white lines within those shapes. Kind of reminds me of a badass floral stencil. But I just think that one's really cool. And it's much bluer on your screen. It's a more green turquoise here in poison. But I always like that one. Oh, that's a little foil experiment. Don't know how the hell I did that. That is a badass. Actually, that might be the one that was on the on the shadow on that one. That's a badass stencil, but how I got that color. Can't tell you. This is Jones. I love this one. That's a little PBO shine in the background there. That's one of mine. I always love this print. 
that pulled out so cool. And I like how stark it is and then all the crazy textures and stuff coming out over there. Again, I like Raku. I love that one. I'll have to scan that one. That's one of Joan's stencils, a little PBO action. That's one of mine. Oh, this is one that Jackie sent me. Love this one. Maybe some pop of black in there. What the heck? Oh, this is one. Oh, I remember this one. This was on Deli, and I sprayed it with coffee after it was done, and it was a round stencil. So... You know, here's the round stencil. This was the extra part of the plate that had paint on it that just picked up. So to, to use this one, I'd have to get rid of that because that just looks kind of weird. But I love that coloration on there with the coffee spray. These are giving me a little inspiration. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. These are the stamps that Eileen sent me. Bless her heart. I haven't seen her in chat. Well, of course, I haven't had been running chat, but even on... Watching um, Sandra and um, I um, haven't seen Eileen in chat for a long time. I hope she's okay. But these were those. Remember the the um, I think it was badass stencil that had all the it was a black circle. It was just a circle that I did black, and then I went back with bronze for some of the shapes that overlay that and make it steampunk kind of faded dots, and that's kind of a. Um, hex, hexagon. Oh, this is one of my favorites. I wanted to tear this up so many times, but I just don't have don't have it in me yet. But this, the background of this was one of Seth's. Um, I think I can't remember what they're called, but it's like a gel paste almost. Um, and it comes out that really sheer, pretty turquoise. But then it was black over it. And then, is that foil or is that, that's paint. That's paint. Or a little bit bronze over that. I don't have the heart to tear that one up. <laughs> I'll see you, Glenda. Thanks for stopping in. And this is another one, I believe, of... Jackie's. Am I remembering that right, Jackie? It looks like you. It's just a shadow. It's kind of a cleanup. I like how the turquoise up here is kind of showing through. See that little tiny bit up there? It looks like a little patina. swirling one. Swirly shadows. This was a badass one, but look at how this row of marks printed. With all that yummy stuff in there. Too bad I didn't use that plate, what was on the plate for something that would have shown more. But I do love this row of those. Hi, Susan. Thank you. Yep, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I went back to work on the 10th. Um, I don't know if you guys all know this or follow me on Facebook. So what was going on is um, for about, well, four years, uh, my oncologist was scanning following some tiny nodules on my right lung. And they stayed static for a couple of years. And then after into the third year, that scan showed there was a couple on my left side. And then the three scans after that showed that one of those was getting big, bigger each scan. So she suggested I see a lung surgeon. So my dad passed of lung cancer and he had, um, his doctor was the head of thoracic at Hopkins when he did my dad's surgery. So I went back to him. We, we really liked him and uh, he bought my dad 11 more years with what he did for my dad. And um, that's cool. so anyway, I went back to him. He scanned me uh, last summer and said, 
let's wait six months. It wasn't quite a centimeter. Let's wait six months and we'll scan again. So they did. Ooh, Jackie. Hello, lover. Put you over there. Oh, this is one of my favorites too. I love that background. Repeat it. Not sure that'll ever happen. Um, he scanned me again last August and said, let's wait another six months. So we scanned in February and it got bigger. And he, I went in to uh, have a consultation with him and he did a PET scan too. So oddly enough, the nodule was not glowing on a PET scan, which usually means it's not active cancer. But he said there's a 20% margin of error with PET scans for this kind of stuff. And that he thought um, he thought that it was possibly and probably a carcinoid tumor of some sort. Um, but it wasn't urgent that we had to do it right away. We could wait another six months till sometime in the summer and um, scan again. Or we can do the surgery. He said, there's a lot to be said about doing the surgery. Get it out. You know what it is. You know what you're dealing with. And, um, you know, that's over. So Dave and I talked about it. And I thought, well, I'm not going to get any younger. And it's not going to get any smaller. So let's just get it the hell out of there. So that's what I did. I had surgery on March 29th. Uh, it was robotic surgery. It was weird. I had around my back of my left side. I thought it would be more towards the front, but it was around my back. I had three incisions that kind of went, um, oh, I just had them here. I mean, watch this body here. Here's an arm. Here's my shoulder, head, neck, shoulder, right? And here's, here, this is my, oh, that, <laughs> that doesn't look right. But anyway, this is my back, right? There were three incisions that kind of went like this, like this, and like this. And then a drain hole up here that was actually a drain uh, hose coming out of my lung when I came out of surgery. Anyway, they went in. They removed a triangular piece of the nodule. Um, he said he had to do some finagling because the way my anatomy is, my right upper, I'm sorry, my left upper lobe kind of folded over the lower lobe. So he had to kind of move that around to get out the piece that he needed to get out. And um, took that out, handed it off to pathology, and it was inconclusive. So while I was open, they took a larger piece of my lung and found four node lymph nodes around it to take those out and send them all off to pathology. And so it came back that it, it was a carcinoid tumor. It was a neuroendocrine tumor. And it was bigger than the scan showed. It was like 1.6 by almost two centimeters where it was showing one centimeter on the scan. Depends on the angle, you know, that they can see. So anyway, um, took that out. The four nodes were clear. Margins were clean. So it's a, a rare type of cancer that usually doesn't spread. So he said, um, hey, Mass. So he said, um, for follow-up for five years, he'll continue to scan me every six months just to keep an eye on everything. But that should be the end of that instance. And um, I asked him what can cause that. And they said, you know, it's a, it's a rare occurrence. And he said that they, but they find that um, it's secondhand smoke or radon that are common causes for it. So got a radon test and I know I was exposed to secondhand smoke for most of my younger life, but I mean, that's, I'm 64. So not sure how long that stays active, that that would cause a problem. But anyway, I'm all good now. Went back to work on the 10th. That's one of my favorite combinations of colors. I think that's fallow turquoise, PBO, green, blue, and copper metallic. And these were all the same. Same paint. These are old. That's back when I used to use a comb on my jelly plate. That's way back. 
way back into time. All right, so let's get rid of these. Oh, this one I wanted to show you guys. This one is um, this iridescent bronze, right? Schmutzed over on my jelly plate and sprayed with water. You let it sit for, you know, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 seconds, whatever. Um, and then when you look at it kind of close up, you can see, oh, hello, that's close. See the turquoise in there? It breaks down. That's all that is, is that bronze paint. But when you wet it, and I've seen other people play with this online too. But I think that's a kind of a cool, cool look there. So let's see what time is it, 2.10. All right, let me get these out of my way. Okay, I've got other tons of jelly plate, uh, jelly prints in different drawers, but let's see. This is dry, mostly. Probably should have looked at it before I did that, don't you think? So now you can really see the shine in that Pacific Lagoon mixed with the Cascade Green. And I'm going to turn it on the end to see if you can see any purple in there. It's a weird angle for the light. And you got no purple, do you? Isn't that weird? It's just as purple as it can be looking at it. Oh, there you can see a little bit of a purpley tone to it there, but it's bright violet metallic in person. Z sells that in her shop, by the way, if anybody's interested in some of that. Um, all right, let's just throw a couple pieces of this stuff down here. And gosh, I love that one. Of course, that would be easy to duplicate. And that's just a black paint, back, black paint on the plate and pulled. <laughs> it's a lot of peas. <laughs> and then bronze with the stencil through it. So that would be easily to duplicate. That won't, and I don't need to do that. Use two of those same patterns. Oh look! Almost forgot about black stripes. That's how long I've been not doing this. <laughs> Okay, let's see. All right, what's um I like this one with that. I like that one. I like that one, but see, that's going to, all right, let's just, let's see something here. Where the heck's my water brush? There she is. Patty. Oh, ha, thanks. Thanks, mess. I'm kind of, my favorite is actually on, in chat with us, Jackie. Creations by Jay Cherie. I love her technique. I can't wait till she is set up and back in business doing that i go back and watch her older videos all the time come on baby let's get some water out there all right let me see how much of this i can saw to tear this is rice paper so this should tear really easily Dave's stepson and his wife and their two kids are coming over here in a little while with their new black lab puppy to play with Oakley. What's that name again, Patty? Um, oh, for ja for Jackie, it's Creations by Jay Cherie. And um, she is in chat here somewhere. She was. I think she still is. I have not been watching the chat that closely. If I must be painful. Brutally honest. Let's see how this works. Just get most of that white blank paper out of there. Let's see what we got. So 
it works so easy on rice paper. Like butter. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no, that's okay. <laughs> Tearing from both sides. It's okay. Don't anybody panic. That is who I'm talking about, Tam, Jackie Jimerson. She's here in chat. Jackie, if you're still here, pop over and say hi to Tam if you get a minute, darling. All right, there's that. Patty, if you get a chance, let Z know her website isn't working. Oh, that's not good. Um, so that's too busy to put just that down there. Maybe I could lay this. How, how crazy would that be to your eyeballs, though, if I put a strip of that down? Or if I put it on there. Hmm. Oh, it was you. Yeah, I didn't figure the website would be down, to be honest. Get this one all cleaned up here. Okie dokie. So what if I just went crazy and just ripped something down here? I'm trying to cover that up. I don't like that little bit right there. I'm trying to make this line up here so I got the same white. Should I do it off like that? Or I put it over here. For some reason, that looks upside down to me. It does look upside down. That'll bother the crap out of my eyeballs. I don't know why. It doesn't look like it would matter, but for some reason, this is where we're going to go. All right. Now I need a little bit of a little hunk of jelly, a little glue stick. Where are you, my glue sticks? We'll use this one. This is some sticky glue. Sticky, sticky. See? <laughs> oh, I won't lie to you. Now 
Now this, uh -oh, where did it go? Oh, here. This I'm going to have to... Um, See, I thought the E's didn't bother me that much. It was this Y looking rascal in there. I'm going to use this rice glue. Let me find the rice paper glue department. Really? Fourth drawer. Fourth drawer, rather. It's like a charm. Hey, Sharon. Thanks for dropping in. Let's see. Let me use this little cheapo brush here. So this is that Yamato. Um, get it on Amazon for uh, rice paper. And it does work really nice. And some rice papers will go completely transparent. This one, I'm not sure will. Oh, come on. Um, but in case it is one that does, I'm going to try to get all the little fringes of this white that's left on there because that'll help it go translucent. If it's going to. Doesn't always do it. Different rice papers. Remember I did, I don't know, a year or so ago, a little rice paper experiment with all the brands that I had. And there was only really one that went really transparent. Of course, I can't tell you what it is off the top of my head. I have to go dig that out. Because why? Because my memory shot. Come on. This is going to be a booger to get on there anywhere near straight. <laughs> So Robin stencils, that's what I'm using here. This rascal that I'm gluing right now was a jelly print using one of her stencils. Um, you can get those on iStencil.com. She's got her own heading. She's not where Joan and I are under mine. She's got her own heading on there, as she should. And rumor has it, she's coming out with new designs fairly soon that I think are going to be awesome. Oh, Lordy, this will be a miracle if this goes down anywhere near right. Let's see. This is the straight part. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we might be in the bit of an art pickle here. Yeah, that's not going to go exactly as planned. And I wanted it off the side, didn't I? Look where it is, right on top of this. Hello. So much for my plan. I'm telling you, this stuff is twicky, 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 twicky. Not looking at chat right now. Oh, come on. Well, that didn't turn out anywhere near as planned. And I'm getting rid of this because that's a disaster waiting to happen right there. My elbow's going in it. Yep. Yeah. Botch that one. That should not have gone there. You can't hardly see that. Wasn't it the indigo blue? Oh, I think it was, Tori. Now that you say that. Because I remembered when I found that out, I ordered more. <laughs> now that you bring it all back to me. <laughs> oh, otherwise, that would have never occurred to me. Yeah. What the hell was I thinking? I should blame this on somebody for, oops, for me losing my train of thought because you know that never happens on my own accord <laughs> but that doesn't really pop on there not so much uh, 
Nope, it's got to go this way. Watch, I'm going to watch the time, 2.26. That's when Ryan's game is over, and then they're coming over with the puppy. It's been so long since we've had any kind of company. We've had our own bubble over, my family and Dave's sister, uh, at different times. But we used to always have gatherings and parties and stuff. And I miss our old normal. Hopefully one day, before I do snuff it, we can get back to that. Maybe outline it with opaque. Yeah, I'll do something with it. I don't know what that'll be, but it will be, it'll be something. <laughs> you couldn't tell you what you had for breakfast. I hear you on that one. I'm not wild about how this is coming out, to tell you the truth. Maybe I just miss my black and white stripes. <laughs> that could be it. Let's try. How close can I get to this? Nope. You got to come with me this way. I just want it sticking out a little bit. This is where I miss Eileen because she hates my black and white. So I I encourage myself to do it even more when she's here. <laughs> Bless her heart. I'm going to cut that off with scissors down the straight edge here. Okie dokie. I might have to put something big and bold on here to cover up a lot of this. To get it back to something. I'm telling you, I lose my, I don't just lose my mojo. I lose my um, sense of placement and color and eh, what are you going to do? Just heard Dave come down and sneak out into the garage. I hope he was sneaking to the refrigerator that's out there and grabbing the watermelon and cutting it up. We got it a couple days ago and I forgot it was out there. And last night we got back from buying all these flowers and stuff I planted this morning. And I said, hey, don't forget our, don't forget our uh, watermelon. So I hear him in the kitchen now. I'm guessing that's what he's doing. me what are you saying use a stencil and black paint no edges then 
that glue takes a while to dry. Oh, you must have said something about that because you started with and. So move it. Uh-oh. I'm guessing that's too late. <laughs> So what if I just, that's probably not going to be any good, but we're going to look at it. Oh Lord, if I ever had to cut a, if it was life or death for me to cut a, straight line. It's been nice knowing you guys. That's all I got to say about that. Never claim to be a fussy cutter. Just remember that. This is probably going to cover up too much. Kathy. Yeah, that's going to cover up too much. I wonder if I did that. Hey, Marion. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, what the hell? Telling you. Hey, Vicki, did you do your, um, I'm so far behind on everybody. Did you do your May Robin project yet? Er, come here. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, almost had a little disaster there. Oh, Tuesday. What did you do? Did you do a book? Well, I love all the papers and I love the watercolor, but I don't like it all together like that. What the hell was I thinking? See, I told you. I lost my mojo. Should I just glue that there? At this point, I think I'm safe to do anything. <laughs> oh, mercy. What the hell? Nobody said it was going to be pretty.
Oh, well, what the hell? Can't win them all. Just got to try to get back on the horse. No matter how hard he throws you. Oh, that's a hot mess right there. Now, what would unify that? Anything? <laughs> you know what I might do? Let's see if I can find it. I'm looking in a drawer. So give me a moment. There it is. Wasn't too hard. I'm thinking, what if I put this down and just did a big black pouncing symbol over top of that? Hey, I got nothing to lose at this point. You can call this one dipping my toes back in the water. Yeah, no kidding. Or shoving my head underwater. <laughs> oh, you know. I still may, I'm still in, I am consistent in the fact that I show people what not to do. That's got some value. <laughs> oh, here's black paint right in front of me. Let's just do it. What the hell? Oh, that's just schmutz it all over myself. All right. Go up to see my guest and have crap all over me. Just got out of the shower. Um, sponge, sponge, sponge. Where's the sponge department? No, 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 no. Of course, it's the bottom drawer. Yep. Oh, this is a different kind of sponge. I don't like the feel of this one. Oh, what the heck. Now, I wonder if I should do it like offset. Like do one in like the bronze color and then drop it and do black. So it's like a shadow. Hmm. Oh, what the hell? We're in this deep. All right, let's just get it. Get it, get it, get it. So that would be in the middle. So let's go up. And over a little bit. All right. Like so. So that's off the edge of this. And up on the edge there. Oh, let's just do it. Man, this sucked. This sponge really sucked up that paint. I like those smaller, smaller dollar store makeup sponges. All right, of course, you can't see that very good, but that's because it's just the highlight. Hey, Robin. All right, let's get this. Off of there. I'll give that a minute to dry. I'm gonna clean up. Where the hell did I put those? There we go. The rest of those prints down there. 
Where's my heat gun? I think I can remember how to use it. <laughs> it's a stretch. Put it on the cooler setting. There we go. Oh, thanks, Robin. Hey, you don't don't worry. Why, Lou? Hey, um, don't worry about having to watch the recording. I'm telling you, you're not missing much. <laughs> Let me save you some valuable time. Oh, I'm trying to get my sea legs back, and they're just not quite there yet. I just got to see Laura, Lou, and Vicky yesterday. Not Vicky Ross. Another Vicky. Good enough. And now, let me cut that off. Really? Right in the pot. Okay. <laughs> I'm definitely going to need another shower. Okay, so let's find the spot where that was. Right, get it all lined up just right. And then I'm going to drop it down and to the right a little bit. Let's try that. What's the worst that can happen at this stage? <laughs> Not too much. Okie dokie. Well, I think that's better. <laughs> Where did that go? That goes right in there. Well, you know, what are you going to do? That's my, my re-entry into art. <laughs> Perhaps I should try to play the clarinet or something instead. But no, I'm going to keep on plowing through because that's what you do. Never say die. All right, we're going to stop there because... It's about time for me to get scrubbed up and for them to be here at three. So thank you guys for hanging with me for a little while and all the nice welcome backs. I appreciate it. It's great to be back. Trust me when I tell you that. And um, I'll try not to be a stranger, but I, I owe Robin a project. So I'm going to have to come back and stream soon. I want to make sure I follow through on that. Um. figure out where to put this stuff and uh yeah so till the next time just reading the chat real quick thanks guys i appreciate it oh <laughs> yeah that looks about right all right guys take care and i will hopefully see you very soon bye